Hey everyone, welcome to The Dark Confidants. I'm Corey. And I'm Marcus, and today we have another Popper EDH gameplay video. So let's take a look at those opening hands and decks. First up we have Dalton with Indulging Patrician. Opening hand is Fate's Feathers, Last Gasp, Vampire Interloper, Vampire Last Raider, Evolving Wilds, Plains, and a Swamp. Next we have Matt on Arumi of the Dead Tide. Opening hand was Feed the Swarm, Laboratory Brute, Messenger Jays, Necromancer's Assistant, Teardrop Kami, and Two Snow-Covered Islands. Next, I'm on Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. My opening hand contained Cultivate, Impact Trimmers, Ivy Lane Denizen, Thrill of Possibility, Alpine Meadow, a Snow-Covered Forest, and a Snow-Covered Mountain. And finally, we have Kelsey playing Mohu Loyal Companion. Her opening hand contained Arbor Armament, Bloom Hulk, Phantom Tiger, Regeneration, Wild Growth, and Two Forests. Now let's jump into the gameplay and find out who will achieve greatness at any cost. I draw two Evolving Wilds. And then pass turn. I draw. Snow Covered Island. Pass turn. Me cap sack. Oh. Yes, <laughs> one. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> For my turn, I'll just play an Alpine Meadow ETPs tap. Just pass turn. <laughs> we leave it in. Yeah. <laughs> It did, it was wonderful. Um, forest tap to put wild growth onto the forest. Faster. Draw. Long tail. Gonna play a plains. Gonna tap, tap. We're gonna play vampire interloper and pass turn. Okay. It's a 2 1 flyer, can't block. Draw. I'm going to tap. Play. Teardrop Kami mm -hmm. and Land Patron, play Demir Octum Duck Tap, take back my island, okay. and pass turn. Yeah. We'll tap, we'll draw. <clears throat> I'll play Snowbird Forest, pay two, cast an Aegis Automaton, and pass turn. Excuse me, Forest. Okay, three. I'm gonna put down a Phantom Tiger. He comes into play with two plus one plus one counters on him. <clears throat> Alright, pass turn. Untap. Draw. Let's do Unknown Shores. Let's do one, two, three, four, my lady. <laughs> Corey, two. In the air. In the air, okay. Yep. What's that? Take two. Pass turn. Mm, take. Roll. Uh, play snow colored um, to four turn. I'm gonna do what I should do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Okay. <laughs> tap. Draw. I'll play a mountain. I'm gonna pay three. Cast cultivate. Put a forest to the battlefield. And I'll reveal a plains that will go to my hand. And pass turn. I'm going to pay three. Um, do scale the heights, put a plus one plus one counter on to up to one target creature. So I'm just going to do that on this Phantom Tiger. <clears throat> I gain two life. There we go. Um, I may play additional land this turn and draw a card. Nope. It's not pass turn. Untap. Fill in the graveyard. Okay. Swamp. Let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, mainly three and one black for Bitter Revelation. I'll lose the top four cards of my library, put two of them into my hand, and the rest into my graveyard. Two, two that I discarded was a Swamp and Blood Beckoning. I'll lose two life. And from there, I'm just gonna pass turn. Okay. So, go. One in blue for diplomatic immunity. Enchanted creature can't be the target of spells or abilities, and diplomatic immunity cannot be the target of spells or abilities. What the hell? Yeah. Pass turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're all like, what? What the hell's going on? No. 
lifelines. Two, four, three with possibilities and an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, or discard a forest. Draw two cards. Pay green to cast wild growth on this forest. Cast for an additional green. Then tap for two green. Play a mind stone. Tap it for one. And tap this for red to cast impact tremors. Any responses? Alright, uh, I will pass turn. For Blood Gutton. He's a 4 3 lifelink. And then we're going to swing one of the air at you, Corey. I will take it. Gain one. Move to instep. I gain three. Everybody loses three. Mm -hmm. Pass. T -t 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 okay. And tap. Draw. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and try to deal with that. This mess. Um, <laughs> one in a black for Phoebe Swarm on. Impact Tremors? Impact Tremors, yeah. Yep. It's um, two CMC. It's two. So yeah, we'll lose two life. <clears throat> no, no, that's true. <laughs> okay. Untap. Draw. Another snow covered forest. Tap. Naya colors. Then one, two, three, cast Rocco X equals three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heliod's Pilgrim, ETB. I'll reveal presence of God, Gond off of Heliod's Pilgrim mm -hmm. search, uh, which goes to hand and pass turn. Um, pay two for a, a Pollen Bright Druid when she enters the battlefield, choose one. Either put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature or Frill Bright. I'm going to do the plus one, plus one counter on um, Owl. I'm going to pay two for Enchant Creature, it's Regeneration. Um, pay a green to regenerate Enchanted Creature. I'm going to spend one and do Arbor Ornament, and it puts a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains reach until end of turn, so that'll just make this go up to a four. Um, and then I'm gonna swing. Oh, he's a seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, seven, seven. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna swing Mao Wu. Gotcha. Seven? Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot he doesn't have. Yeah. I'll block with Helios Pilgrim to at least stop two of the damage coming through. Okay. Um, I'll take five. Five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Pastor. Oh, and yeah, Helios yeah, Pilgrim's was died. Say, yeah. I was looking, I was like, this thing go away. <laughs> it's too busy writing down my commander damage. Draw. Let's do a swamp. One white here. Color and color. For Ritual of Rejuvenation, mm -hmm. gain four life. One, two, three, four. Draw <clears throat> a card. I think after that, I'm just going to pass. I gained four. You guys all lose yep. three. Yep. On tap. Draw. Play a Snooker Dial on Return. One, black, and three. Four. Commander's assistant. When it enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. So I'll do Halmor Excavator, Snowboard Swamp, or Island, Island yeah. and Comus Faithful. Okay. Um, I'm then going to Taparami, targeting 
Helmar Excavator, mm. paying one and a blue. Right. And I excard or exile three cards. I got Sage's Row, Crow Dark Tidings, both of those are mill cards. Okay. Island, um, Floating Dreams, and Zubera. It's a draw card for each card in my graveyard. Mm. Swamp, 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 Clumping Swamps, Bone yeah. Shards and Calestria Healer. Yep. When it or another ally enter the battlefield, it does one damage to yep. opponents and I gain one life. Yep. And I will then attack everyone for one with the Halimar Excavator. Yep. And that'll, that's the only attacker I'm declaring. Yeah, so so I'll, it's just a 1-3, right? Yeah, it's just a 1-3. I'll stick Aegis yep. Automaton in front yep. of it. Oh, I guess I could do the tagger. I'll block with the Funny, you can bark with Mo, oh, yeah. Really yeah. That's true. Yeah. It is he has to attack. Yes. Because yeah. the Encore token. Right. Yeah. Blocking with the four three. I'll gain four. My flank. Okay. Oh Jesus, yeah, you're right. Um and I'm going to Yeah, past her. I'm out of mana. Okay. But I feel like I'm moving. <laughs> Draw. A Thorn Wimp Bridge is my land, it enters tapped. A three. That's a midnight card. Uh -huh. A three. That's presence are gone. So I'm giving you guys an ultimatum because I don't have haste. You've got a turn cycle. Mm. Uh, I'll have to pass the turn on that. It has to be able to tap. It has to be mm. able to tap. Oh my okay. god. Okay. <laughs> I had to go for it because you got to get it out. My there. life's getting low. Um, pay four for Bloomhulk. It's a plant elemental. When he enters the battlefield, proliferate. Choose any number of permanent center players to give each another counter. Of each counter already there, so he's going to gain a counter. Yep. Mowu gains and two. And Mowu gains two. Um, there we go. I'm just going to send all of that. Oh, yeah, there we go. So this is a five, nine, and a one. Ten. Yeah. I can block the one one with Midnight Guard. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll block Polymerite Druid with Midnight Guard. Um, I've got five commander damage right now. Well, you've only got 16. No, I only have 16 life, you're right. And I'll double block Mowu. With Aegis Automaton and Rocco. So it holds back four. That stops four coming through. Uh, so I take five from Mowu and five from the Tiger, right? Mm -hmm. So 10 total, and I'm up to 10 Commander from Mowu. So I'm down to six, yeah. Are you doing anything in your second main? Or? Yeah, that's all I got. I got another six. I, I can do damage to him next turn as well. Okay, good. Yes, I die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah! Well, yeah. I've got the Calestria Cal healer, that's so right. that's nine damage. Oh, yeah, I'm just down on board then. Yeah. yeah. So you just make Matt do your dirty work. <laughs> and you can swing it who you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's public knowledge, that's the only reason I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it is. Be aware that's a good, com not combo piece, but set piece with this. Yep. You passed turn. I did, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Tap, no, don't be. <laughs> the important color is the white one. White, black, color, color for Faith's Fetters. Enchantment. Hmm? We can't attack, we can't block. I gain four when it enters. Pass turn. You all take three. Yep. That was a tip. Um, so yeah, pretty much the only thing I can do, I'm going to Tepperoni to Encore, targeting Blastria Healer, paying one in a black, mm -hmm. exiling three cards, Swamp, Swamp, Swamp. That's easy. <laughs> yep. So three copies of Colostria Healer, Colastria, however you want to say it, come in. Um, when it or another ally enter the battlefield, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life, so that's nine damage to you all, and I gain... In response to those triggers, I'm yep. going to pay one and 
crack and sacrifice my mind stone to draw a card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, do your worst. Um, yeah. nine. You all lose nine, I gain nine. I am dead. I'm just gonna pay three to cast Krovakin Sorcerer. Um, this is a wordy one, but I can tap him to discard a card from my hand to draw a card. If the card discarded was black, I draw two cards instead of one. I keep one and discard the other. I'm then going to attack, obviously, with the healers. I'm going to send two at Dalton and one at Kelsey. That's yeah. what makes sense. I'm also going to send my... It's a one. It's a one. One, two, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to... Leave it at that for now. Or no, the uh, blue mole. The blue mole. Blue yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna block one here and yeah. block one here in game five. Okay. <laughs> and he is exiled, and that is the end of my turn. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Two, three. Deep with Denison. It's vigilance. It has an ability where I would pay five and a green to tap, draw a card, but the ability actually counts one less to activate for each plus one plus one counter on creatures I control. Right. So I only have to pay green, green to tap it. Tap it yeah. mm -hmm. nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Can't yes. do it this round, but yeah. hopefully I can start digging a little bit more. Boom. I'm going to pay two for revive, return target green card from your graveyard to your hand. I'm going to at least re um, return scale the heights. If I make it around another time, yeah. um, just because it does have an extra draw card, so I might be able to draw two next time. Uh, I mean, I guess I can third them at that. We'll see. So it's a five, four, and a four, four. Five, four. I'll block the five, four with him. Mm -hmm. He's dead. Okay. And I'll block the four, four with him. Okay. And he's dead. Okay. No. Okay. All right, and then pass turn. Okay. That's me. <clears throat> Untap. Draw. A white color and color. For... Squire's Devotion. Chant creature. It gets one plus one and has lifelink. When Squire's Devotion enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white creature vampire creature token with lifelink. I'm just going to go ahead and attach it here. Thank you, sir. Your one, one. There are my 1-1. One, one. <laughs> so that's a 5-4. I already have lifelink. Um, let's sing the 5-4, you, Mr. Man. Is it on the ground? It's on the ground. I'll take five. Okay. Game five. Uh, moved in step. Goes three. three. Pass turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's up? Okay. Uh, I'm going to choose and discard a card from my hand. I'm going to discard Fleshbag Marauder. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, and because that was a black card, I can draw two cards, keep one, discard the other. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to discard Mind Leech Ghoul. Okay. Um, then going to Taparami. Pay one, a black, and two. Targeting Fleshbag Marauder. I'm going to have to exile. Let's do one and two. What are they? Uh, Bone Shards and Snow Covered Island. Okay. And Fleshbag Marauder comes into play. When it comes into play, um, each player sacrifices a creature. There's two of them. Two of them, yeah. Two of them, yeah. So yeah. I will sacrifice that. both of my Marauders. And this. And they'll be exiled. I'll sacrifice my blue bolt. Cast it and start rebuilding the counters, but that's not that big of a deal uh, for you. Yeah, I was going to say, I might do that. You're going to get something that lets you destroy an enchantment next turn. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I probably will, but it's fine. He's gonna draw that return to nature. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So they're gone because they sacrificed themselves. Yep. I'm then going to pay one for a Trickster Mage. Again, I can pay one tap to discard a card and untap target artifact creature or land. I'm just getting the bodies. And I'll pass turn there. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'll just pay in to at least recast them. But that's probably all I can do. Yeah. Aim at you. Nine, so what? A five, four. I'll take five. Okay. He's 
only nine points from where he started. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna try. That's all you can do. Yeah. Um, that's it, Pastor. Sorry. No, don't be. Untap. Draw. Path of Ancestry enters the battlefield tapped. A one white, three for Sanguine Glorify, Glorifier. Good, good gorge, Mickey. Uh, when Sanguine Glorifier enters the battlefield, put a one one counter on another target vampire you control. I'm going to pick Indulgent Partisan. Uh, we're then going to send the five four at you, Mr. Matt. Okay. A block. Okay. Gain five. One, two, three, four, five. No matter what you do. <laughs> and move to my end step. Yep. You guys both lose three. Don't and to lose eight. Pass turn. Correct. Yep. Draw. Yep. Turn. What I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a discard card to draw a card. I'm going to discard card Messenger Jays. I'm going to draw a card. Mm. To tap or Rami. Mm. It's on court. Targeting Messenger Jays. I'll read that here in a second. Sure. That's four mana, so one, two, I'll just do all these four islands. Yeah. Actually, it's five. So I'll do that in the black, I guess. Yeah. So, or, yeah, I'll have a floating blue. And I exile two cards. One, two, floating and necromancers. And what Messenger Jays is? It's a 2-1 flying, Counselor's Dilemma. When Messenger's J, Messenger Jays enters the battlefield, starting with you, myself, each player votes for Feather or Quill. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Messenger Jays for each Feather vote, and draw a card for each Quill vote. For each card drawn this way, discard a card. Huh. So I will vote Feather, and I'll put a plus one, plus one counter on it. My priority goes to you. Well. So I draw a card and discard a card. Okay. Burglar wrath. Yeah. I'll do quill as well. You can draw another and discard another. Mind wrap RP. Um, so I will send a 3 2 at you and a 3 2 at you. Matt does have a missed trigger here. So when he activated Rumi and got two copies of Messenger of Jays, he did the Feather and Quill vote but only for one of them, and didn't do it for the other one, so only one ETB trigger was resolved there. He attacked for three with both of them, so he must have assigned that one one counter to each of them, but yeah. uh, Dalton and Kelsey, neither of them got a vote on the second one, which he may have been able to loot two more times, or the or second... Or attack for a little bit more damage. Or attack yeah. for more damage. Yeah. yeah. Block in the air. Okay. Yeah. Game two. Pass turn. Okay. A1 to tap the Denison. Draw a card. There's just so many steps to remember with the roll. Oh, you yeah, have to do a lot, that. right? Do I? Oh, shoot, you're right. Because yeah. um, I forgot <laughs> Momo lost all of her counters. Yeah, but your Tiger Saw um, has quite a few, doesn't it? It reduces it yeah, by four. By yeah, four. So. Yeah, so two. There we go. A1 for Snake Skin Veil. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Um, it gains hexproof until end of turn. A3 for scale the heights, put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature, so this will go up to four. You gain two life. And I may play additional land. Haha, <laughs> draw a card. I'm just throwing it at you, Dalton. Why not? What we got? We've got a seven seven and oh, and a five five four. Seven seven a five four. Mm -hmm. Twelve total damage. Mm -hmm. Take it. Seven's from the mountain. commander. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pass turn. Mm -hmm. Draw. Three for Cage of Hands. Can't attack or block. You okay. could pay one and a white to remove it. Okay. You know what would be good right here? What's that? Hexproof. <laughs> so. Kelsey does use Scale the Heights and Sink Skin Veil on Mo'u on her turn to grow it for a stronger attack, but we knew about the Scale the Heights, which returned from the graveyard. She yep. could have just played that and be fine and hold the Sink Skin Veil as a protection spell rather than a pump spell and 
definitely would have come in handy right here. Yep. Uh, gonna swing five at you. Okay. Game five. One. Uh, pass turn. Uh, keep. I gain three. You both lose three. I'm dead. And I'm close. Because oh. now there's only one person. Yeah, and you're, yeah. <laughs> you're Draw. Stuff. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to discard a card. Black one. Second Drifters. Mm -hmm. Draw two. Discard an Arcane Signet. Four turn. One, two, three, four. That's the devour. Enter another enchantment in the battlefield. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library to his or her graveyard. I'm actually going to let you mill this time. Okay. So two. Yep. It is a swamp and a noted deacon. All right. And I'm going to pay a okay. turn. Untap. Draw. Thriving Heath enters the battlefield tapped. I am going to say it's going to tap for black, other with white. Yeah. Pay okay, one black for Vampire Lacerator. At the beginning of my upkeep, if you uh, you lose one life, unless an opponent has ten or less life, uh, that doesn't matter because I'm just going to play a black here for Village Rights, yeah. uh, sacrifice it, and then draw two cards. Swing five four at you. Look. Okay. Game five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And in turn, yep. lose three. Yep. Untap. Draw. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tap Crooked mm -hmm. Sorcerer to discard a card. Okay. I'm gonna discard Norit. So I draw two. <clears throat> <clears throat> Discard one. Um, I'm then going to tap Rami, mm -hmm. paying a single blue, targeting Teardrop Kami. Right. I'm going to exile one card with one copy. Comes into play, sacrifice to retap or untap target creature. I'm going to sacrifice him. So he's now exiled. That's true. So yeah, that makes it easy. So I untapped him, and then I'm going to tap him again to discard Esper Panorama to draw a card. The one, two, three. Yep. And a black to play Mortis Dogs. Whenever Mortis Dogs attacks, it gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. When Mortis Dogs is put into a graveyard from battlefield, target player loses life equal to its power. Okay. Um, I'm then going to pay one in a black, two, three, mm -hmm. to play Falcon Wrath Noble. Whenever Falcon Wrath Noble or another creature dies, target player loses one life, you gain one life. I think we know pretty much what he does. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm then going to pass turn. Okay. <clears throat> Untap, draw, play a swamp. I'm going to play four for Falcon Wrath Noble. I'm going to scry because the path of ancestry. Yep. Put that on the bottom. Two for Vermin Gorger. Let's keep coming. Mm -hmm. We are going to swing the five four. That's just good, sir. Luck with the two six. Two six. Okay. Game five life. Game five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, an unreasonable amount of mana because I tap my mana wrong for this, but I'm going to pay the one white into this to make it generate black. Mm -hmm. Then generate one here for last grasp on your boy to kill it because it's negative three, negative three on top of the damage that it took from him. Oh, yeah. Yep. Pass turn, you take three. Yep. And mm -hmm. set. Oh, and you lose one and I gain one from Falcon Wrath. 
seeing that. Yep. Do they not cancel out? Oh, they would because you've got a fucking wrap as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so they technically do. So, one sec. They both just eyeing each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm more nobly than you. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna tap him to discard a card. I'm gonna do a black card, Gorging Vulture, so I can draw two. That's not what I wanted. You so discard. actually, I'll discard you Bruce's discard. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna pay three for a Commander Sphere. Then I'm going to sacrifice Commander Sphere. Dig him. So I'm going to pay one, two, and a black to play Grim Guardian. When it comes into another channel and loses the battlefield, each opponent loses one life, so you lose one. Um, I will swing at you with Falcon Wrath and Mortis Dogs. Mortis Dogs is now a 4 2. 4 2, how much total damage? Six. One, two, yeah. Six. Um, second main, I got nothing. Best turn. Control. Untap. Play a swamp. Uh, I think it's go wide, yeah. yeah it, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah, because I can block two. Three. Well, yeah, I can do eight damage to the gate. Yeah. Just gets up. Yeah, I mean, I would block. Let's say I would block the that one with the, the five guy. Point. Yeah. And then I can't block your flyer. That's flyer on this flyer. Yep. That's two. And then I would block your sanguine with. Or on me. Mm -hmm. And then how much damage is that? Four gets through in the air. Yep. And another two. And then not gain five. Into turn. Yeah. yeah. Or any life. Yeah. Yep. 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 Good job. I did Bye. it. That was a good game. Nice. <laughs> Well, there it is. Uh, Dalton comes away with the victory there. Uh, pretty impressive showing by the deck. Um, just being able to have all the right answers when he needed it. Uh, the, the continuous three life loss from his commander's ability uh, was really tough to deal with as well, as so it seems. Um, and everybody pretty much played this pretty well, I would say. Coming after me first, um, they know I'm a combo deck and everybody else is on kind of aggro decks. Getting me out first was uh, a key part of this, especially considering that I presented a combo. I was just <laughs> already dead on board and I didn't realize it. Yeah, the, could not agree with you more. Definitely piloted the deck well. He had all the right answers. Show Good showing for the uh, aggro aspect of the deck. And, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, death by a million cuts. Yeah. And with that, we're gonna say thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and drop a comment below and let us know what creatures or decks or themes that you'd like to see in the future. And then be sure to join us next time so we can see who will achieve greatness at any cost.